In the script section here, you'll see there's a blogs and articles, and you click there, and you'll notice you'll see a blog article wizard. So if you click this, there's actually a built-in tool here that helps you create your blog or your article and gives you kind of a step-by-step -step guide to get things going. So first thing it does, you, in this section, you also have another built-in web browser. Now, I forgot to mention this in the previous video for generating scripts. You'll see there's a little checkbox down here. By default, it's selected. So it defaults to ChatGPT whenever you open the software. Now, if you don't want that, you can just deselect it and it will kind of remember the last one you've logged into. So if you logged into Bing or whatever, it will kind of remember it for you. But anyhow, so that option is there. So let's go ahead and go through the process of creating a, a blog article. And I'll just, for simplicity, I'll just use the actual examples in here. And of course, we got to log in. And as we know, if we go to log in here, Sometimes it will remember you've been logged in, but in this case it didn't. So we want to use our saved logins just up here. And so if you don't have the your login saved, what you can do here is in logins, you go to settings and in the settings window, this is where you can add your website logins. Now everything is encrypted. So all your passwords and such are encrypted. So it's safe. If you want to add a new login, you just enter in like for example, ChatGPT. You can add the login URL. It's optional, you don't have to then your username and your password. It's quite self-explanatory when you're done. Click done and click apply. And once they're there, then when you click logins, you'll see this little handy window pop up. And now it's really easy to get access to your information. So you just click user. And then I wanna click my password. And it will log in for you just like that. Makes things really fast. So let's go ahead and go through the process of creating this article. So we'll do it on social media marketing, how many keywords we'd like to generate. So this first part is you wanna generate keywords. You can concentrate on high search volume, low competition, or just balanced. Let's go ahead and do high search uh, volume, click generate. And what it does, it creates the prompt from step one and it automatically goes to step two. So now what I wanna do is copy this, come on over, and we'll just stay in chat GPT 3.5 for now. and it will go along and it will suggest some keywords along with monthly search volumes, cost per click, and ad competition, and organic search competition as well. So now you can kind of come here and select some keywords you like to focus your article on. So let's go ahead and just select some here that have, so let's say social media strategies, and you want to separate them by commas. How about, Let's look at LinkedIn marketing or something like that. And, and maybe social media analytics. I'm not sure, I'm just selecting here, for example. Now we wanna select our target audience. Now, if you don't know what your target audience is, you can just create a prompt right here. If you just click this button, it'll create a prompt that you can paste in here and it will automatically suggest some um, possible target audiences for you. And this prompt is generated from the content we put in step one. We put social media marketing as our topic there. So this is how the prompt uh, was created. Now you small business owners, entrepreneurs, digital marketing professionals, e-commerce store owners. Let's just stick with say this one here. So then you paste that into there. Now how many titles you wanna generate? So this part here is we're gonna generate titles. So go ahead and click generate prompt then go to next step. Now we're in step three and we have the prompt from step two. So copy this, come over here. And we'll start generating our possible titles. And now we come in here and select the one we want. So let's just select the first one. That looks pretty good. You put your title there and you go, how many sections per outline? Um, so this will kind of create like um, three different outlines and each outline can have, you know, five sections if that's what you want. For simplicity, I'm just gonna do uh, three sections per outline. Just do two outlines and keep the excited tone of voice and go ahead and generate prompt. And then what we'll do is we'll copy this and do it again here. And now what it's gonna do is generate 
our outlines. So this is outline number one, and then it creates your different sections. And here's outline number two. So let's just stick with outline number one. And what we want to do is we've got to put our section names into here. So this is our section, our next section. Then our third section. Now what we do is stick in our call to action. I'll just put see our powerful SEO software here. And we create the final prompt. And we can copy that. And this will generate our final article. And you can see here we've got the title, the introduction, the section one, section two, section three and our call to action and everything's here so now we can go ahead and copy this and throw it into our editor and paste it into here now we have our article now you'll see sometimes when you go and paste it they take the uh, bolding away when they paste it from here so another way to do it is I could just clear this out here and then use the I could just come in here and just use my mouse basically if I want to so just select this here control C control V and I keep some of the bolding in there and you can kind of work with it in here and then in here you can use all the handy tools inside of the editor which will be in another video but you can do things like add an image by using the image library from Pexels, Pixabay or Unsplash, also icons. So we can add an image in there then we're happy with it we can go ahead and post it directly to a WordPress site if you'd like or you can export it to a PDF whatever you want to do with the content but in this video I just want to show you basically the steps involved and how to create an article pretty quick. Now I do recommend that make sure you read through the content, make sure it does make sense because these AI engines aren't exactly perfect all the time, so it's good to read through it. But the idea of um, using AI is to enhance your abilities beyond what you could do before, and that's what I use the software for, so it's a great starting point in order to really create awesome content that you can create faster than if you had to do it all by yourself. So that's how you can use the blog article wizard and I suggest working with it playing with it and uh, you can get some really great content out of ChatGPT also Bing and all the other different net, um, AI engines as well and over here I do want to mention that you'll see that we have in the previous part here we said um, we wanted three sections per outline and that's why you had three sections show up here and let's say for example you decided well you know what I don't want three sections I only wanted two you can click this and you can delete out that section if you want and you only use those two in the actual final prompt here. Pretty pretty simple to use. Um, I tried to make it as easy as possible. Basically you just kind of answer the questions, copy content from here back into the tool and get to the final prompt and you'll get to the final content that you need. Play around with the different um, number of words per section and things like that and you'll get different length of content. Now, I do pay for the ChatGPT monthly um, to get a little extra in here, but uh, you don't have to. Obviously, you can use the free version. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.